Hello and welcome to Skynet Terminator model. Today's episode, the T-888. The T-888 is a variant of the T-800 Terminator mass produced by Skynet. The T-888 has been nicknamed by the Resistance fighters as T-888, Triple Eight, or simply Trip-8. The series 888 Terminator is also known as an infiltrator series, all of which use living tissue over hyperalloy endoskeletons. Besides the standard abilities of its predecessor, the T888 is stronger, faster, and more resilient to damage. For example, Cromarty was able to gain entry into a bank vault by strategically tearing pieces from the locking mechanism then battering it until he was able to grab an edge and twist the door itself away from the wall. The T-888 has been shown to run at incredible speeds, capable of catching fleeing vehicles with relative ease. Vic Chamberlain, for example, was able to chase down and board a secure van, despite taking fire from Cameron. The Betel Terminator was likewise successful when it leapt up into Sarah Connor's Jeep and later chased Derek Reese through the woods. The endoskeleton of the Series 888 Terminator has specific upgrades from the standard Series 800 Terminator. Besides the new arm and leg plate design, the new pistons, the more notable difference between the two models is the addition of armor plating on its back, which provides effective cover from most forms of damage, whereas the T-800 is vulnerable to precise attacks from behind. The T-888 also possesses thigh blades the blades located on the inside of the model's thighs to decapitate a human. Additionally, the T888 chassis components such as the head, torso, or limbs are available in a wider array of sizes, allowing for far more variety in living tissue infiltration sheaths to be used. Other differences are mostly cosmetic, including the design of the head and lower jaw. Like its predecessor, the T888's endoskeleton is forged from hyperalloy with the key ingredient Colton granting the machine superior resistance to heat. The alloy is shown to be capable of withstanding most small arms fire, with the exception of depleted uranium shells and high explosive incendiary rounds, which is capable of penetrating the alloy and causing significant damage to the unit. The endoskeleton can also be melted into a vapor by thermite, either by itself or in combination with burning tar. Exotic munitions aside, the Triple Eight is shown to be remarkably resistant to all forms of damage. For example, Cromarty endured having his head blown off by a primitive plasma weapon with little effect, and was later able to guide his body to his head to reattach it, while the Greenway Terminator could only be destroyed by being thrown into two Transformers, suffering severe electrical damage that burned out its circuitry. However, its endoskeleton was still more or less intact. The endoskeleton's functions, including its CPU, are powered by a shielded nuclear power cell that is located within the heart of the chest cavity, behind the frontal armor plating. The T-888 appears to be noticeably light compared to previous models, though their endoskeletons are still dense enough to prevent them from remaining afloat in water. While the original Series 800 Terminator came with a variety of infiltrator models, most if not all were similar stock and size such as muscular, large, tall body. The Series 888, however, marks a breakthrough in model flexibility. The T-888 endoskeleton can be built to accommodate many sizes, from stocky bodybuilder to petite schoolgirl. This range of endoskeleton dimensions allows for a far more effective infiltration tool, as humans wouldn't suspect a small 16-year-old girl of being a machine. The processors within the T-888 appear to be set with a read-write function when sent on infiltration missions granting the unit the ability to learn from their experiences. Ostensibly, the T-888 CPU is similar in shape and design to the T-800 version, though it is completely black with red stripes and is fixed to the shock dampener. Later models are upgraded with slimmer chips that were treated with phosphorus compounds that ignite once exposed to oxygen, effectively preventing them from being reprogrammed by the resistance. Amongst its standard combat files, the T-888 possess detailed files on human behavior and psychology, granting them advanced interpersonal relation programs. One such, T-888, which replaced Vic Chamberlain, is capable of maintaining a marriage for a time, fooling his wife into believing that he was her real husband. The T-888 expands its database of human understanding by observing Greys. Charles Fitcher, one of the greys, taught the machine how humans tick. 
Another prominent feature of the T888 is using wireless control over its body. If the CPU and skull are separated from the torso, the head could effectively guide the body to its location, though how it does this is unexplained. It is feasible that the endoskeleton possesses an array of sensor equipment allowing it to navigate through the, its environment, as well as an independent power supply, enough to guide its body to it. It is unknown whether most of the Series 888 Terminators are able to show emotional potentials besides that which they fabricate for infiltration purposes. Cromarty was by far the only unit seen to possess a genuine, albeit limited, range of emotions, including frustration, annoyance, fear, and sardonic humor. In addition to various other software upgrades, including an upgraded heads-up display, the T888 is capable of powering down to standby mode, either to conserve power or upon successful completion of a mission. Sufficient disruptions such as a powerful mechanical or electric shock can render the unit offline, though it could reboot in approximately two minutes. The T888 HUD is more advanced than the ones in the previous series, and has an all-red display similar to the T800 with black overlays at its sides. The T888 is an advanced model and comes equipped with a sheath of living flesh to blend in with other humans. The flesh has a remarkable regeneration rate and can last for decades without any sign of decay, whereas the T800 skin seems prone to dying after extended periods of time or sufficient damage. It is unknown whether the T888 sustains its organic components through the same means as Cameron, who is able to eat and possibly consume food, though this would be likely given that Vic was able to maintain a marriage for a certain period, which would have required him to eat and drink on a regular basis. T888s are also apparently atomically correct and capable of sexual activities, again suggested by Vic's prolonged impersonation as Barbara Chamberlain's husband. It is unknown whether the T888 possesses the same range of physical sensations as Cameron, who claims to enjoy the feel of the wind through her toes and fingers. Cromarty did appear to be jarred by devastating ballistic attacks to the sides of his face, however. Thank you for watching the history of the T888. Special thanks to the Terminator Wiki for all information you heard today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you can. If you have, thank you. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.